Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. That's for everyone who saw our previous episode. I just welcomed them back. Yay, thanks for coming back to our episode of Yay, Cormon. We were playing Cormon. It's a swarmy. I forgot, do I have a swarmy? I do. Oh my god. The, I asked the question swarmy and the game answered swarmy. it. <sighs> so what is this episode four or something, right? We are episode <clears throat> three. Oh. Three only. Okay, guys. I so, went over that. Yeah, you're having too so far much ahead fun. Right there. You're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. We are <laughs> catching creatures. We are fighting them to the death against other creatures. We are. Well, actually, we are not fighting them to this the death. This is they deja just... vu because <laughs> we just did Tam Tam. Tam Tam, what's that? I don't remember that. I have. I have. You have no recollection of Temtem. <laughs> Jeez, by the end of it, I was like dragging I have, my I have guy, I have Guy Pierce disease, where <laughs> I can only remember things that happened 10 seconds ago. <laughs> Maybe you want to start writing it on your body. Oh, I'm so tattooed. You don't even know. <laughs> I have something that says, mention Temtem written on my arm. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, oh, we are it back. Used, it got smeared up, right? Yeah. Like, was, shit, now I can't read what this says. Uh, she used a permanent marker. <laughs> that's why we're recording these videos, because I can't remember. So I just watch them. I'm like, oh, that's fun. Uh, guys, we are playing. We have a fur de terse. Um, fur de terse. Fur de terse. Uh, so I guess I'll fight him. He's a Mino. He's a Mino. Jody. That's kind of like my name, right? Uh, yeah. So why don't you do the voice of your best Jody voice? Why is this training? <laughs> That's my voice, dull. <laughs> Why is this training? Why is this training area filled with bugs? They bug me out. You like uh, that one? That was good. <laughs> that was that was very good. Uh, oh my god, she, she was has really stressing oh my about bugs. God. She has a bug. What the heck is she complaining about? She, Her she's bugs like, that I a hate bug. bugs, and then she throws out a swarmy. Her what? bug's not a bird. It's a it's a little toy that Berg. she goes to sleep with. <laughs> Berg. Berg. It's a bug. It's a bird, not a bug. <laughs> it's a bird. <laughs> I swear me to bird. Swear me to bird. Bird, bird, bird. Oh my gosh, the Swedish chef is here. <laughs> Swedish chef, how do I cook Swedish meatballs? <laughs> <laughs> Swedish chef, what's your thought on the upcoming election? <laughs> Swedish chef, I'm feeling like I don't have a purpose in life. What should I do Jeez. to bring <laughs> me joy in my life? <laughs> oh my god, you are so full of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my first tourist grew to level 8. Guys, speed, 18. He's got rage now. Oh my god. He's raging against that machine. You know how you get rage out of JD? Instead Jeez. of a move, all you gotta do is play um, Rocket League with her, <laughs> and then you will see her. Like, you will see her attack increase threefold as she throws <laughs> the controller at me. <laughs> like, why did you Shut block that goal? <laughs> oh man, like last night we were playing like Mario Party oh N64 my God. version. Jesus, Damn. we were ready to break our TV, dude. I'm gonna kill Donkey Kong. We were playing Mario Party. We were playing Mario Party 1 on N64. I was concerned about not breaking our controllers because that game has a reputation where you have a lot of games you have to spin yeah, the, joystick. the little joystick. But man. if we play again, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> I will fucking break my controller in order to kill Donkey Kong. I don't yeah, care. Was, oh, real and do a and tug of war. It was like war. under normal play. Like it wasn't easy. It wasn't hard. It was you know supposed to be normal, but they kept winning like everything. Him and Yoshi. <sighs> assholes i hate them and we're anyway, like, what the fuck's going on why oh is everything God. going their way what we're gonna do is if we ever play mario party this is uh, a, a confession if we ever play mario party on this channel we are gonna put it on the easiest mode but i'm gonna edit the video so it looks like we put them on hard and i'll be like we beat this on hard <laughs> and people are gonna be like wow this game is not very difficult <laughs> i mean it was just incredible you would think he Okay, he's gonna lose this one. No. Oh, I like this Wolfie. Oh, a Lunar Pop? Oh, oh, it's a real cutie. Oh, he is cute. He's got a skull on his head. He's very. I'm not gonna say it's he a looks skull, like a. or he's just got a white, like, fur on his head. Like dogs that no. have white socks on that, or something. I believe that's a, that is a skull on his head. The oh. skull is on the outside. Or. Whoa. 
you know, there's a Pokemon where the <laughs> skull is a head that throws a bone. I don't oh, remember yeah, what his yeah, name yeah. was, but oh, I'm not going to say that this is related to that. <laughs> well, this was cuter than... It is cutie. Was it a Cubone? I don't know what that is. That's that's a word I've never heard before. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, Cubone. Whatever. You know Q- what I'm talking it's about. It's a Cubone. Everybody knows what I'm talking well, about. Well, everyone pronounces it wrong. It's pronounced Cubone. Cuban. 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 Cuban? Like Cuban cigars? <laughs> <laughs> like Mark Cuban. He wants to buy your idea. He is in the Shark Tank and he's gonna buy. He wants to buy your your special toilet that flushes automatically once a poop hits the water so you don't have to smell any of your poop. It just disappears down the toilet right away. <laughs> I'm gonna pitch that idea. <laughs> it's better than the poopery uh, sprays that, the, yeah. that everybody goes crazy for. I feel like it misses the point because everyone after they poop wants to take a look and see like, hey, how big was that? And then you look and you're like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I ate corn today and I don't remember when that happened. <laughs> was there corn in that Taco Bell? I guess there was. <laughs> Oh my god. I-, I got an idea that Mark Cuban can go ahead and buy for me. It's it's spray paint t-shirts. Kind of like Dwayne Johnson, like you always see oh. him. He's got this spray painted on tops and shit. So I was like there's going I can invent like a special spray paint for guys to use. And it looks like they got muscles because it looks like it's a tight shirt on them. But this is just it's just them topless with spray paint on them. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically body paint. But But it's special for some reason it gives this kind of like optical illusion that you have muscles like you're doing so, the so, Rock Johnson. <laughs> and we'll call the spray paint Rockin' Bod. Is it Okay, is the <laughs> You're is thinking the, about this. Is, is the paint magic? That it can make you. Yeah, look it's got this thing. weird <laughs> optical thing going on, kind of like when cars have like so you, luminescence in it, kind of glittery paint on cars. You ever seen it? Yeah, but well, how, how are you gonna use glitter to make someone look muscular? I didn't say it's glitter, is it, George. Is it gonna, I, I think it's gonna have to be like dark magic or something. You're gonna have to summon the devil <laughs> to imbue this paint with some dark. Well, it does magic. come with a manual that has an incantation that you're you get, supposed to say. You gotta put a pentagram on the ground. You gotta draw a pentagram. You need to. You need to get. A chicken that you're not too fond of. <laughs> We're not gonna say what you're gonna have to do with it, but just I hope you're not too attached to this chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a special. Did you see him sparkle? What? What happened? No, no. Look, he's potent. Did you see the potent? Yeah, come I saw up? the potent part. That means that he is better. It's kind of like a Luma, but. So oh, yeah? remember I said at the beginning, okay, I'm going to test your memory. So I don't know if you remember, oh, geez. at the very beginning of this game, I said uh-huh. that there was three levels. There's your regular Coromon, there is your potent Coromon, and there's your perfect Coromon. Oh uh, yeah, okay, the, yes. The perfect is like a Luma, but a potent is like a very strong, it's not quite a, Lu- a perfect, not quite a Luma, but it's, it's really good. So I should catch <laughs> him. I it's sh- really good. It is really good. It's it's mm, 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 delicious. Oh really God. good. He's such like. a delicious mouthful. Mm, <laughs> he's his sweet, sweet mouthful. <gasps> yes, mouthful was caught. Would you like to check the summary? Um, and the way it <laughs> works, really. <laughs> would you like to ooh, check the like summary? Would you like to? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, muffle. Oh, now we're getting, heading into, like, I don't know, Scandinavian or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so the thing is, you see how there's, like, the XP. There's two bars. There's, like, the yellow and the blue where it says to next 81, 49. Right. So the blue bar, that's when you're potent. You get more, like, bonuses. It'll make more sense. I'll explain it. I'll, I'll remember to explain it later as it's happening. Um, so he's an okay. escapist. Uh, not a very good trait. He's um, very passive. I'm going to change his trait because you can do that later in the game. Uh, give a nickname. Of course we want to give a nickname to Maffle. Um, I'm gonna get, we're going to do this one letter at a time. So I'm going to say the first letter. JD is going to say the next letter. So let's start <laughs> with a U. Okay. What's the next letter? Oh, geez. Um, R. 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 I'm going to go... Um, Oh. Oh, baby. Euro. You're next. Uh, K. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> you rock. Okay, that sounds good. Urak. 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 It's like Ooh, a dinosaur hunter, but not quite. <laughs> okay, we'll listen to the storage for now, and then we'll get him later. <laughs> Urak. Did you ever play Turok, the dinosaur hunter? No. Oh my god. I, I don't think you so. Never I don't remember if I did. You never I mean, got... we used to rent so much from Blockbuster. Every well, week was like a did you have game. a Nintendo 64? <laughs> no. Then you did not play Turok the Dinosaur Hunter because it was so I thought it was on a different platform. Uh, maybe. I think eventually, I next generation, it was, uh, yeah. PS2 got a Turok game. Okay, yeah. That was like the fifth or sixth. That was already the when they hit like the fourth game in the series. Okay. But during that first generation, oh, we need to go back and heal. We are... Yeah, we're not looking so healthy. Let's go back and heal. Oh, we'll go back and heal. Oh, no. Uh, Somebody decided you can't go. A swarmy slithers towards you. Go, <laughs> Xfat. <laughs> By the way, Xfat, there was we were at the Supercon, the Comic Con here in Denver. Fan Expo. The Fan Expose here in Denver. Expose. The Fan Expo. What is this? A <laughs> journal article or something? Like, or a... We expose the fans, and they're like, "What are you a fan of?" And they're like, "Uh, Doctor Strange." Okay, what are you a fan of? Uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> like, what are you a fan of? I don't know. Oh my God, there was a girl. It was so cute. It was, it was like um, we got we went to a panel with Ming Na Wen. There was like it was in a huge room, so there was like 600 people there for this panel, right? With her, yeah, it was a big, it was, it was a huge big, theater, big venue there. And they just opened the questions up to everyone, which I was surprised. I thought they were going to be screening some of the people asking questions, but they were just like, I don't want to ask questions. And then this little girl went up and asked her, and it was so adorable because she was like. Did did you take anything from the Boba Fett set? <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, yes. She and then did not elaborate. Thing. She's like, can't tell you what. <laughs> yeah, she kept giggling about it. We're like, ah, yeah. uh, 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 we're going to tell John uh, Favreau uh, on you. <laughs> we see that look. Oh, no, my ex fat has fainted. Oh, good thing we're not playing Nuzlocke rules. Um, Jeez, yeah, that will be it. Yeah, basically, Nuzlocke, like, when you die, you die. <laughs> Everyone dies. Die, die, die. Murder, um, death, kill. Murder, death, kill. Oh, my God. We were talking about that earlier. Guys, if you have not seen Demolition Man, do yourself a favor. <laughs> Get some popcorn going. Get dim the lights down low tonight. Oh, no, no, no. You're missing something. Not popcorn. Taco Bell. It's oh Taco yeah. Bell. If you want to see, if you if you want to see the most blatant product placement in a movie, where they're just gonna be like a Taco Bell commercial in the middle of a movie, you need to watch uh, Demolition Man. That was a that movie's crazy because it was oh like a God. gourmet. Taco Bell was like fancy shit. People would go to a restaurant all dressed up to the nines and shit <laughs> to eat Taco fucking Bell. And then Sylvester Stallone is just eating a burrito and... He's like, Taco Bell. Taco Bell's fancy now. That was a really good Sylvester <laughs> Stallone. You want to hear my Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> Why do you sound like Scooby-Doo? <laughs> Oh Scooby-Doo slash Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> if Scooby-Doo, or if Sylvester Stallone did the voice of Scooby-Doo, like, in the next Scooby-Doo movie, like, it, that Scooby movie. Buy advance that, tickets to see that shit, Oh, my right? God. Oh, I would pay so much money. Well, he knows James Gunn now, because they did Guardians of the Galaxy. That's so James true. Gunn should be like, we're going to do a third Scooby-Doo movie. Sylvester Stallone, you are going to be my Scoob. You are going to be him. I could see you doing it. He's like, Ooh, You me? were meant to do Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he was pretty good as a, like, oh my god, what was the shark? Oh, in the Suicide Squad? Yeah. Uh, he was good on that one. That was yeah, no, he's a good. I, mean, I, I joke, I kid. Sylvester, he if is. you're watching... Dude, oh, yeah, I, he's kid. I kid, I kid. You, you're great. We love Demolition Man. It is amazing. Oh, oh my god. Man. Yeah, if you guys are liking this crazy shit we're talking, you should definitely catch our other videos, especially Temtem, right? We got 92 episodes of Temtem. Lots of fun. We're, you know, cracking on jokes and whatnot. So, you know, uh, check it out, right? Guys, if you don't watch my uh, one of our other videos after this one, 
I'm going to cry for the entire next oh my day. God. And then I, I got to deal gonna, with it. Then I have to deal with it. Gonna, no, no, no. I'm going to have a mental <laughs> breakdown. Oh, stop. Oh, my God. Oh, no. stop. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see you guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Oh we'll talk God. some more about Fan Expo. Oh, yeah. Denver edition. Woo! Bye, guys. Bye.